All right, 11-7 mixed expressions. Uh, it's, it's also got some complex complex fractions in it as well, but I just wrote the mixed expressions because it'll it'll all mold together here in just a minute. So if I take an example, and I want you to take two plus, and this is the first example on page 714, plus four over x minus one, and I want you to write that um, as a rational expression. Um, you're probably going to look at me and tell me I'm crazy. But let's work with this just a little bit. Let's go ahead and take our 2 and make it a fraction. Okay. Remember the 1 is just a general everything in a fraction, so it's, it's really kind of not even there. And so looking at the 1 and the x minus 1, our common denominator has to be x minus 1. So what do I have to do with the 2 over 1 to give it a denominator of x minus 1? Well, I have to multiply top and bottom by x minus 1. And so I'll clean this up here in just a little bit. Let's work through this. So now we're going to do distributive property. So that's going to give us, I'm going to go down here to the left, that's going to give us 2x minus 2 all over x minus 1. And then we're going to add 4 to that over x minus 1. Now that we have a common denominator, now we just add the like terms on the top. Uh, there are no other x's, so that's just 2x. We do have a negative 2 and a positive 4, so negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2 all over x minus 1. Now, you might look at that 2x plus 2 and say, hey, I can factor that. I can take a 2 out of it, and that's going to be x plus 1, but that's not going to help me cancel anything on the bottom because I have an x minus 1. So we will just stop there. 2x plus 2 over x minus 1. Okay, here's the complex fraction part of it. Um, boy, you thought you really didn't like fractions. How about fractions within fractions and fractions divided with another fraction that makes it a fraction? There's just fractions everywhere. Okay, what I need to see is I need to see this line right here. And I need to understand that that simply means division. So I'm going to have, I'm going to rewrite this, 8x squared over y divided by 4x over y cubed. Now it looks just a little bit more similar to what we did last week. Okay, so take the complex fraction, fraction out of it and just make it a regular fraction. And so now we're going to keep it, change it, flip it. Okay, keep it, change it, flip it. So keep the 8x squared over y. Change the division to multiplication. And flip the second term. So now it's y cubed over 4x. And so we want to take care of our numbers first. Our 4 is going to go into our 8 twice. Now let's look at the variables. This x will take out one of those x's, leaving that just x to the first power. This y will take out one of those, leaving it y to the second power. On the bottom, everything is canceled out, so it's just 1. And I have 2xy squared. Okay, so don't be intimidated by the complex fraction. All it means is division. Okay, very important right here to see that division. And that'll make life a whole lot easier in the long run. Okay, one more for you. Again, identify the big line in the middle as division. And let's rewrite it. We're going to have 2 over y plus 3 divided by 5 
over y squared minus 9. Now some of you are probably chomping at the bit already. You see that y squared minus 9. You know we're going to be able to factor that. But let's go ahead and, and keep with our order. Let's keep it, change it, flip it. So 2 over y plus 3 times y squared minus 9 all over 5. All right. Now, let's go ahead and factor that y squared minus 9. We're going to keep the 2 over the y plus 3. Keep the multiplication sign. y squared minus 9, that's a difference of two perfect squares. So that's going to be y plus 3 times y minus 3. And then we still have our 5 down there. Let's scroll down here just a little bit. There we go. Now, it's multiplication, so we got anything that's top and bottom that can cancel, we cancel it out. So I end up simply with 2 parentheses y minus 3 all over 5. So it's just a different look of something that we've already seen before. Um, so that's all we got for today, a little over six minutes. So we'll see you in the morning.